Being a caretaker isn't easy, but it is rewarding. You're doing great today. <sighs> Let's take a little break and try First again. First time in the house since I was, what, seven, eight? Is it really mine, though? To know my love. Hello, dear. May I help you? <laughs> Just listening. You've got a great voice. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't even know I was doing it. You see, this cat I feed sometimes has gone missing. And when I worry, I cannot help but sing. Hey. Hmm? Sounds like a job for a merc, doesn't it? Well, aren't you the picture of confidence? You wouldn't happen to be a professional feline finder, would you? Not officially, but I've got a good cat-catching record. Been doing it since I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Christine, by the way. Chef and chanteuse. You might want to start by looking around the foot of Mount Nebel. She's got the most beautiful snow-white coat. Petite little thing, too. Speaking of, she must be starving out there. Here, be sure to feed her. All this talk of cats makes me think of Fluffy. Yeah, the one and only. What happened to her, anyway? No idea. Haven't seen her since the fire five years ago. Man. I can't shake the feeling that I just left her to die. I really hope she's okay, but if she's not... Careful hey, out there. there's Beans something I've been meaning to ask you. What? How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, this little lady's name is Fluffy, but he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. Hard to believe looking at me now. Hey, do you remember that red bandana Fluffy always had around her neck? Now that you mention it. Believe it or not, my dad made it. With cloth from one of his old shirts. Even though she was my cat, I think he took better care of her. That right. Sorry, didn't mean to bring him up. No need to apologize. What's up? Heard something. Over there. Let's go. For nothing. <laughs> You're mine. Oh, this ends here. That's it. <laughs> Gotcha. Hey. Is that it? Look. K. 
pittance? I can't believe it. Fluffy? Hey, girl. How you doing? It's me, Tifa. Remember? You're okay. Thank God. Aww. Fluffy, what's wrong? She doesn't look so good. Let's try giving her the cat food. There's plenty more where this came from, so dig in. Leave him alone. Okay, then. Just <laughs> You're dead. This one's for you. Sloppy. Go on. That's it. Gotcha. Come on. and the kittens might have been hurt. Do you mind if we head back to the village? You know, if we asked her nicely, I bet that head chef would take care of the kittens. I mean, can't say no to both of us, right? Guess we'll see. Come on.
the patients are all worked up. I'm thinking we might have monster trouble today. Huh. I feel so bad for these people. Huh. I hope I can help to make them. Guess even she can tell this place is nothing like it used to be. That's probably why she never came back here. What is it? Fluffy? After him. It'll be okay. Oh, welcome. I'm afraid the staff is on break at the moment. If you're looking for Christine, she's upstairs. You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos on their arms. Why, look who it is! Oh, my little baby! I'm so glad you're okay! And just look at all these yummy muffins you brought back with you! She gave birth to her litter on the mountain. Oh, sweetling, you're going to be a great mommy! I hope this is all right. It wasn't exactly safe for a bunch of kittens. Couldn't just leave them, so... Don't be silly, dear. You did the right thing. I'll take excellent care of this family. They'll want for nothing. Long I've dreamed of opening my home To live to ones To play and rub and love La 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 If I'm going to take these cats in, they're going to need names. You've got such beautiful white fur. Blanca. Yes, that fits perfectly, don't you think? As for the kittens, we'll decide later. Actually, the cat's already got a name. Shh. What? You weren't hoping to hear me play, were you? I'm terribly sorry, Blanca, but I'm a bit worn out after all that excitement. Tifa can play. Cloud? What a wonderful idea. You'll humor us, dear, won't you? <sighs> okay. Just a bit. Hold that thought. This occasion calls for an accompaniment. I know some folks who would just love the chance to perform. Don't go anywhere. That escalated quickly. I wasn't expecting an audience. I haven't practiced since I was a kid. What should I do? Back out? Well, that's not an option. Then I think you better get warmed up.
<laughs> that was lovely. How was it? Much better than I remember, that's for sure. Talk about a backhanded compliment. But I'll take it. Thanks. Glad that you could help. Take care of the cats for me. I certainly will. <laughs> Rest assured, I'll keep them very well fed. So bring your appetites. <coughs> All right, come along then. Playing that piano again brought back a lot of memories. How mom used to teach me while dad was downstairs in the kitchen doing his best, which was pretty good. Hangouts with Emilio and the gang, <laughs> which we kept inviting you to, but you never came. Never? Really? Really, but you seemed fine on your own. That what it looked like? That I enjoyed being alone? You didn't? Of course not. Huh. Guess we still don't know each other that well. Hmm. Well, never too late to make up for lost time. Yeah, that's true. I'm glad we came. Yeah. Glad we found Fluffy, too. I think you mean Blanca. But yeah, I hope she and the kittens are happy here. Not sure why that is myself. Maybe it's to mark ones with different.